No Film School's coverage of NAB 2018 is brought to you by Black Magic Design, creating revolutionary solutions for film, post-production, and television. Adorama, the world's only full-service destination for photo, video, and electronics. And My Road Reel, the world's largest, is back. Register now at myroadreel.com. Hello, this is Charles Hain. I'm covering NAB Show 2018 for No Film School, and I'm here with Jeremy, the CEO, founder of Atomos. How you nice doing? to see you, Jeremy. How's Good it going? Very so you, well. You guys obviously have a lot to talk about. We do. What's the first thing you want to cover? You got an object in your hands. I do. So this is the Ninja 5, Ninja V, Ninja 5. Um, everyone's doing Ro Roman yours, well, we are, and Apple are. And uh, that brings me to my next one, which is the ProRes RAW. So we'll get to that in a second. But this is the, the new high bright, 1000 nit, recording, 4K60, records ProRes, 4K60, HD240. Um, it is ProRes RAW capable. Um, but there's no cameras that give us raw over HDMI. So anyone with a camera, DSLR, etc., lobby your camera maker to output raw over HDMI, and we will definitely be supporting that if that happens. So it's not ProRes raw capable today because there's no cameras to give you. But and it's really nice form factor. It's one inch thick. It's super small, super light, 320 grams or 11 ounces. This makes it all really, really possible. This is our new SSD mini. Ah. So that we've, we've announced a range of accessories called the Atom X range, and that can be from us or from a third party maker. And this is one from Sony, and we've given them our caddy design for this model. And this is still backwards compatible with our normal caddies from previous generations. So you can still pop those in, um, in the front, let me show you. So you can pick that one up and put it straight in there. Which is Whoops. funny, I didn't, like this morning, I didn't think that looked so big, but now it seems huge. Yeah, but this one now is really small, feel that. I mean, that is a really nice... And there's an SSD in here. There's an SSD in here, and it's a standard SATA SSD, so that means we can record all the wonderful formats that we record today, but to a much smaller form factor. So that allows this to be super slim, and the recording's kind of going away into, into nothing, but you get all that capability. 695. That is a very good price. It's a killer price, come on. And you guys are going to be doing your own SSDs and letting other third parties do SSDs. Well, we're just licensing other people to do it. So we, we don't make SSDs. We're not pretending we're going to be an SSD maker. We're not trying to con anyone by putting our label on it. It's going to say Atom X SSD Mini by Sony, by G Technology, by Angelbird. And they're all on board. Those three are on board. Anyone else who wants to make it, we're definitely happy to talk to them. And I think one of the things is that to, on the future proof is the expandability. On the back here, in the battery slot, we've got an expander. And I don't know if you remember our Connect converter that's yeah. clicked on the back of our original Ninja. Well, that concept we've evolved to now you can grab video and audio and power to the super high speeds of HDMI and SDI. You can put an HD converter on here with a wireless module in it and transmit. You can put an SDI module and transmit. And are you guys making those? We will be making them. So uh, over time, we'll release more and more of them. But we wanted some expandability on here to allow people to, to and third parties to make their own. So if there's someone doing wireless really well, like Amimon, the Israeli guys that supply Teradek, they're giving it to everyone. I mean, they supply everybody. They supply Ari. How, yeah. How about they make one that just fits on here and they can sell it? OK, let's talk about Provost Raw. Yeah, let's do it. So year and a half of work. Um, very honored to be the launch of what we believe is the next revolution and there's a lot of questions going on about what is ProRes RAW, how does it work, right? So let me cut to the chase. ProRes took RGB video pixels that were already tra already translated from sensor sensors, which are the RGB values in the Bayer pattern, that were already processed by the camera and then given out of HDMI, right? So, or put onto the card in MPEG. We would take the HDMI RGB pixel and we'd pack it up in the ProRes wonderfulness, which is Apple's awesome format that is really easy to encode and decode on CPU. So it's honed for CPU speed. So which means you can edit it easily, yeah. even on laptops without a ton of graphics. Which is power. why we talk about performance of ProRes. So then you look at RAW and you say, all right, so what if a camera was giving RAW directly to a device that could record it. Well, just so happens we've been doing that for a long time. So you take this and this, and that's what ProRes RAW is. So it's basically just a ProRes codec. It's a ProRes codec. With but sensors instead of pixels. Correct. And that means we can unpack it, and all the camera data's in there, ISO, white balance. So for the editing side, you've got everything in the file. You know where you started from. 
we know the frame rate, we know the ISO, we know the camera it's coming from, so when you get it into Final Cut, Final Cut can just do the transform to V-Log, add the camera LUT that, that looks good from out of the box, so that 80% of the people can just use it, and it looks awesome, PQ out to our monitor or to another monitor, and you're editing immediately. This thing is crazily efficient, eight streams on an iMac Pro, but not everyone's got an iMac Pro, right? I did four streams on my 2015, unofficially from Apple, because they're like, you can't say that, we haven't tested fully, but I did it using 4K P60 on the timeline, four different streams for four different cameras. So just- 4K P60. 4K P60, plus we did 5.7K and we've done 6K from the DJI drone on the same timeline. And you've got raw pixels to move around, right? So you can, you've got ISO, you've got, I, you've got white balance, you've got all of your raw pixels that you can reprocess. Correct. So ProRes RAW is now replaced. The data rates are smaller than the equivalent in 444 and 422. So there's two flavors, ProRes RAW, ProRes RAW HQ. And that's just how much packing is going on. It's obviously less in ProRes RAW HQ, but it's a bit bigger, but it's about 444 size. So we're talking, um, you know, if you want to talk values, you know, you see the range on their graphs. Um, you're talking the three to one type of level for the ProRes RAW HQ and, and you know, the five or six to one range. But ProRes in itself is a target bitrate, right? ProRes RAW is a quality target. So it can go up and down depending on the image coming in. So, it's, uh. so therefore, if you shoot well, this is the beauty of it. If you shoot well and it's well lit and you're actually shooting good HDR where you lots of light coming in, you are less data rate because the image is cleaner. Noise increases the data rate. So if you get down to the noise floor in the image by stopping it down, then you're in deep trouble and the data rate will go up. So if you get a file of ProRes RAW HQ that is really big, the guy probably hasn't shot it very well. So right now it's rolling in all your Shogun Infernos and Ninja Inferno. Yep, yep. And it's gonna roll in your Ninja 5. Yeah. Any other products gonna, I mean in the Sumo. It's in the Sumo. Sumo, um, it's going into the, so it's, this one isn't supporting it yet because there's no camera giving it to us. But, but there it's will capable. Be. Yes, when the camera arrives. Correct. Shogun Inferno today, download it right now. 50,000 customers of Sumo and Shogun Inferno get this today. Oh, and the, the firmware is out today. Yep, and it's free and Final Cut just released this morning and a year and a half of work is coming to fruition and we're super proud to be part of it. Very exciting. Thank you very much for awesome. talking to me. Take care. So that's Charles Hayden for NAB Show at Atomos 2018. Thank you.